what happens to you when you chase men. You send your subconscious mind a message that you are not good enough and you are not worthy. You chase men because you don't feel good about yourself. It goes against our biology and it goes against our evolution to chase men. I want you to think about nature. In the animal kingdom, the females are not chasing or pursuing the males. It is always in our biology, in nature, in evolution, it is always the male species vying for the attention of the female. And it is always the female that is picking the best and fittest mate for her. We've become very masculine in our energy. We live in a very masculine oriented world. And there's nothing wrong with that per se. But when this programmed into our body and this is programmed into our DNA and now it spills over from work into our home life. And so it's predominantly how we're functioning in love and relationships. What's happening is we're actually pushing away healthy men and our roles are becoming inverted. It is the male's job to pursue a woman and it is the woman's job from the pursuit of different men to decide and to select which mate is best for her. This is how our species has evolved to this point. When we chase men, we are coming from a very insecure, very desperate position. I am all for women's empowerment and the women's movement and for equal pay, equal rights, etc. But in love and romance, it doesn't work that way. In love and romance, when you are chasing a man, especially if you are looking for a healthy masculine energy man, and for those of you that follow my work, that have read my books, you are looking for a masculine man. You don't want an insecure man. You don't want a feminine man. You don't want a passive man that sits around and you do everything for him. I'm guessing that's why you're on my channel. If you want that type of man, you have to first understand in your own DNA, in your own programming, why you are even pursuing a man, chasing a man. They all are the same because a woman should not be pursuing a man. It's a man's job to pursue, period. It is a man's job to pursue. Now, again, if you are looking for a dynamic in a relationship with a man that is more passive and you are comfortable taking that role and you want to pursue men and you want to pretty much do all the work in the relationship, you can do that. Again, I'm talking about the dynamics of the masculine and the feminine. This union is divine, it's special, and it is a very unique union that stems back from history. This is how our evolution Evolution has progressed. But now as we are moving into a world where the masculine paradigm is so entrenched in our being, women are becoming more and more masculine in their energy. And so what's happening is even in love and relationships, they are taking that pursuer role and then they're not able to get the desire and affection of a man. When you chase a man, you are sending your subconscious mind the signal that you do not feel good about yourself, that you are extremely insecure and that you are not worthy of love and you are not worthy of receiving love from a good man. Why else would we chase? I want you to think about it this way. If you had the beliefs of a woman that knows she's desirable, knows that she can get any man that she wants, and is a woman that actually shows up that way in her relationships. I'm not talking about the narcissistic woman that just thinks she's great, but really she isn't. And in her relationship, she's a taker. I'm not talking about that woman. I'm talking about a quality feminine woman. A quality feminine woman has the beliefs that she is desirable. She feels good enough. She feels worthy. And she knows she's a catch. In her relationships, she's also providing men with a lot. She is not a taker. She makes men feel good. And because because she has these beliefs about herself and she feels good, good about herself, she's never going to chase a man. She's never going to make a man see her because she knows that if a man is not seeing her, then it can't be the right man for her. And therefore, quality men will always come toward her. And she will weed out a lot of passive men because she's not putting her time and energy into trying to make a man like her for see her. When you are not coming from a high value, when you are coming from an insecure place, you're going to chase men because the beliefs that you have about yourself is you need to do this. You need to perform acts of service for men. You need to do all these different things to get a man's attention. You need to dress provocatively or give your body away. You need to do these things. Otherwise, a man is not going to see you. And you believe that the more um, attention you give to a man, the more he'll see you. And the reason that oftentimes we will think that way is because we want that. As women, we want attention. We want adoration. What makes us feel good and that's what makes us fall in love. With a man, especially a masculine energy man, it's completely different. In fact, the more that you are chasing a man that's in his masculine energy, the more bored he's going to get because he doesn't want to be chased. He doesn't want to be pursued. 
He wants to be with a woman that he thinks is just a little bit better than him. He wants to believe that the woman he's going to marry or be with is out of his league. And if he doesn't feel that way with you, primarily because you feel that way about him, and that's the reason you chase him. You think this man is so great, and so you want to chase him, and you want his affection and his adoration. If you feel that way about him, he's naturally not going to feel that way about you. It is a very different feeling once a woman has been, let's say, claimed by a man. Because at that point, a man has passed several tests that a woman has given this man subconsciously. And when she sees that he's a strong man and that he's passed these tests, a woman then will start to show a lot of interest in the man. And then at that point, it'll be reciprocal. In the beginning stages of the relationship, it's never going to be that way because a healthy woman is always going to take a step back and allow a man to lead. I go over tests in my books. Make sure you get my ebooks. These books will literally change your life in secret of the feminine woman, I talk to you about how to be a feminine woman. And this book primarily is going to give you a feeling. I always tell you that femininity is a feeling. I always say that you always want to follow women that are actually embodied in their femininity and are actually with partners that are desirable and masculine because feminine energy is not content. It is not word. Feminine energy is a feeling. And when you are able to be around women that are also embodied in their femininity and the healthy femininity, so the strength is present as well, you will also be able to find those parts of yourself. Oftentimes, we will be triggered by women that are feminine because either we are not like that, we are not them, and we are more masculine in our energy, and we have denounced our femininity. But instead, when you are triggered and you do feel that way, explore that. We'll be triggered by women that are more of their feminine energy because we are lacking in those parts of ourselves. And so we will look to women that are more in our masculine energy because we're relatable to them. The problem with this is that it's just strategies to win men over and strategies are chasing because, again, it's the energy that it's coming from. If the energy is coming from a space of I'm trying to get something and it's outcome oriented, a man that's in his healthy masculine energy is going to be turned off and it's not going to work. And even if it works, the men that those types of strategies work with when you're not embodied in your true femininity is feminine men. So I want you to observe within yourself why it is that you're chasing men. What is it within you that feels that if you do not rest back in your femininity, that you will not receive love? Because there is something going on within that is triggering this belief within us that if we do not rest in our femininity, nothing is going to happen in the external world. It is important to do the inner work. I really recommend the inner work because without the inner work, without self-inquiry and having an awareness of certain principles and why you do what you do, you're not going to be able to get to the root of your insecurities. And if we can't heal the root of our insecurities, we're going to keep playing out the same patterns over and over again. So I suggest you get my inner work course. It will literally change your life. And I love hearing from all of you that have participated in the course and all the ahas you're getting from there. You can find all the links below. Again, we are chasing men because we don't feel worthy. We don't feel good enough. And when we are doing that, we are literally pushing away good men because the moment a man feels that you are chasing him and chasing is any sort of pursuit of a man. If you are thinking about a man ahead of him claiming you, if you're thinking about a man and it's consuming your thoughts when he's not around you, that's chasing because you should be doing other things. If you're waiting for a man to text you, wondering why he hasn't texted you, especially Especially when a man is not showing interest towards you, that's chasing. And the more that you put your energy toward men that are not interested in you, the further away you're going to get from love and commitment because this energy of chasing is not attractive to healthy men. Insecure men, men that do not feel good about themselves, let's say beta men, feminine men, will want that. They don't feel good about themselves. If they did feel good about themselves, they would be more integrated in the masculine. Now, I know some men watch my videos and I do want to say that moving into our feminine or moving into our masculine is the lifelong process. We are always moving more into integration and wholeness. So this doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to move more into our core energy and we want to be balanced with the opposing energy and we will be if we are integrated. But again, integration takes time and it's our life's work to become more and more whole. This is not about perfection. How you know you are in your masculine or if you are in your feminine is who you're attracting. If you are a woman and you are naturally attractive to masculine energy men, you are in your feminine. 
if you are a woman that's in her masculine energy and you're attracting men that are more passive and you have to do all the work, which is also making you step into this chasing role, you are more in your masculine and vice versa for men. A healthy masculine energy man is not going to be turned on by a masculine woman because her energy is going to feel too pushy and controlling and manipulative. A healthy masculine man is going to be attracted to a confident woman that is very similar to his energy, meaning she is balanced in her masculine energy but she is feminine. So her energy feels good to be around and she knows how to let a man lead. These are generally the dynamics that play out when we're more healthy in our energy. Anytime notice in your body that you want to chase a man or you're thinking about a man, especially when he's not making any sort of effort to you. And this could be when you're in a relationship or when you're not in a relationship, there is something going on within you that is creating that dynamic. So I don't want you to look at the external. I only want you to look at ex the external for evidence of what's happening internally because the external is just a mirror for what's going on within us. Th that's all it is. Any single time that we are chasing anyone that isn't moving toward us, we are lacking in giving ourselves something that we need. This is why it's really important to learn how to communicate with your inner child and learn how to heal all of these abandonment wounds. Secrets of the Feminine Woman, I get into the inner child. All of my products have different components to them. My inner workhorse is teaching you how to be more solid in who you are. What men want teaches you about men and masculinity and relationship and how to position yourself to be a woman that is desirable to masculine energy men so that you're not moving toward them and you're not chasing them. I just want you to keep in mind that when a man is interested in you, you he doesn't need any sort of help. He doesn't need any help from you. If you are helping a man in any way move toward you in any way it, it is showing the imbalance in the dynamic because if a man is really interested in you at any point in the dynamic he's going to want to be with you that's it he's going to want to be physical with you and he's going to want to be around you pretty much all the time and he's going to want to solidify things with you it, it's very simple if that's not happening something that's going on in the relationship that is creating an imbalance. And if you want to get into that with me more, book an email session with me. You can purchase that in the link below and you can email me your specific situation and I will respond in a voice note as well as a transcription. You can also book a call with me, but the email session is really great for specific questions and I get back to them pretty quickly. It can take a little bit of time to book a call with me. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one.